Hello and welcome to another Competence tutorial. Today is I'll be bringing you a tutorial that was by request from um, Erin and Leila and she wanted to know how to unzip a file and some other stuff. Okay so um, for unzipping a file there are different um, programs that you can use. You can use um, WinRAR um, WinZip um, but I like to use 7-zip just go to 7-zip.org and you can download the exe straight from the home page um, it's only a small file, it doesn't take long to download just, um, you click on it, you get taken to the SourceForge link download will start and then once it's installed you just run the setup and um, you can start extracting software. So say I went to my documents and decided to zip up my um, let's say Yodem 3D. Just get right click on it, go to 7-zip which will come up when you've installed it and just click add to archive and just choose everything that you want choose your um, file type compression level um, and then just click ok it's normally ok by default and you just click that and let it do its stuff and um, I'll come back once it's done and now if we scroll to the bottom now that's done you can see a zip file here. I'll just drag this onto the desktop. And you can see here, I've got um, the folder. It's in the zip file. All you have to do to unzip it is right click, go to 7-zip, and then click extract here. And that'll extract it straight to your desktop here. Um, or what you can do is you can right click on it and go to extract files and then you can browse where you want it to go so you can say just have it straight to my documents click OK OK again but um, it's already there so cancel that so yeah, um, delete that now um, some other th cool things that I'll show you um, if we go to opensourceliving.com osliving.com that's the website. It's um, a website, and it shows you for ev basically for nearly every program that um, has been made, there is a free open source version on o um, open source living, and um, it's got all these different categories, as you can see. And um, say you go to graphics and photo. Um, and vector drawing let's say it'll bring you up all these different programs that you can have um, that are free and it'll tell you what, plat what platform it's supported on um, give you a link to the website and give you reviews and stuff that other people have done on them so that's like the only one for that but if you go to say 3D modeling, you've got um, you've got quite a few. Um, the one that I know is um, Blender, which is down here. If you click on that one now, see here. Um, there have not been any reviews yet. Um, I don't think there are many reviews on it either, but it's. Um, it's a really good website if you want it. Some if you don't want to pay for something, um, and you you just want a free legal version of it, you can just go there. Um, another one for open source software is um, this link here from someone's blog. Um, it's got um, probably just as many.
other, uh, more than one for some of them, more than one different program. And you can see here, um, but it's probably a lot harder to find something. What you'd have to do is you'd have to control F and find it here. So, let's say, let's use Blender as an example again. There you can see it comes up here, Blender. Um, another good one is if you're a student, I found this the other day, studenthacks.org um, resources, it's um, 101 web resources for students, and um, all it is is a list of websites that you can use for um, student life, so as you saw up here, diction online dictionaries, encyclopedias, literature, um, all different sorts of stuff, um, but I think it is a US website, but if you are English there are some links on there that um, you can use as well. Um, not sure if there's anything else, let's have a look. Um, this is a cool website, Wild Mood Swings, um, you just pick a mood that you're in, so you can say um, wishful let's say and click take me away and it'll open up a new window and it just um, picks a random website that suits the mood that you're in at the moment um, uh, um, I think that's about it I'll see you about next time and I'm um, sorry for the delay because um, my computer's been um, messing me around at the moment with my internet and it's not really been connected, it's been the first proper time that it's stayed connected um, but I'll hopefully bring some more updates later okay, see you next time